Every time we make a decision, we give life to the music we make. Expressing yourself is taking a lot of small decisions based on how you see and hear the world surrounding you. And this is why art is so important. Because when you express yourself, we as an audience are able to experience the world through you. And we can see ourselves in a new perspective. So, in this video, we are going to work with the chords we made in part one. And I will give you some tips and tricks to how you can make some decisions that will make your music sound more like you want it to sound. We open up the first chords. One thing I sometimes like to do is to take the thirds, all the thirds, and move them one up to up. I do that by selecting them all and pressing shift and arrow up. And then they get this more open sound. Another thing I sometimes do is to take all the roots and the fifths and duplicating them, copying them one octave down. So selecting them, copy paste, shift, arrow down. And for me this is sometimes just like the bass sound, the basic sound. Uh, I do this when I have to do something really quick and I want it to sound better than just how it sounded in the start. Let's do this by with all the chords. So all the thirds, one octave up, copying all the roots and the fifths and copying, uh, moving everything one octave up. Let's listen. So what we did now was simply to rearrange the chords and make them sound a bit more full. When you use the root and the fifth, then you take a lot of space. So if it's in a big band or a big arrangement, maybe you should only keep the three notes. But now we did it like this because there's no other instruments. So what we can do now is to take some more decisions. Try to customize it to the way that you like it the most. And simply, there is only one way to do it, and that's to do it and try your best. I will use the three top notes and move them octaves up and down to try to make some melodies I like better than the current ones now. So, I choose that this should be my top note and then I just move the two others octaves up and down to make the space kind of equal. And the way this sounds, <laughs> just this one chord I think sounds amazing. It just suddenly got some character and it became what I wanted it to be. So now I actually like the melody. And it became, now it feels like it's my song and not just a song that just happened. And I believe it's because I work with it. Let's try to do the same with the other four chords. I really like the C as a top note. So 
So now I just took this. Ba da ba. Yeah. How about the sound? No. Maybe like this? Yeah. For me, it's just, again, sound like something I would do. Let's try the next one. like this melody yeah so by simply moving the notes in one chord around I made a melody I really liked and I'm not even adding additional notes or making magic. I just use what's here. And by trying to make them sound like I think they should sound, it suddenly becomes something that I'm proud of. The last one. I actually didn't expect it to sound like this, but <laughs> it surprised me in a good way. This sounds like a, a giant walking. And because this note is in the top, it sounds a bit sad somehow. Or like heavy. Oh, and this note. I didn't like the G sharp, so I just try something else. Oh, so now the chord was kind of the. S it was like the fourth chord sounded kind of familiar because it has the same top note as the F but it's a different chord so somehow it feels new and familiar at the same time I that's the best I can try to describe how I feel about it but this just became like I'm so happy about these chords now. I'm gonna make a song with them. Okay. And then I really like uh, the fourth, uh, the, the length and everything. But in the first one, I kind of want the melody to continue. So I will press duplicate loop. If you're uh, working in another door, you can simply just duplicate the loop by um, dragging the loop length and duplicating it. Yes. So, the fir first four we don't change. Yes, this is just what I was looking for. So, when it continues, it has a new melody. Mm. 
Let's try with the G. Yeah. Okay, let's listen again. Kind of the same effect as we got before. But now these four chords feels like a much longer story in my opinion. And suddenly there is an end and a beginning. Where before it sounded more like a loop with no end of beginning. I don't know how I should describe it better, but I really like this. Because now it's like getting through a whole story. Let's do it again. So what would be nice I like this. Okay, so simply by moving notes, octaves up and down, you can create beautiful melodies with the chords note. And this is really simple and the way you should do it is to do it very slow and uh, listen a lot and then try some different ways of doing it. Now I only tried one option for every chord progression, but you can make multiple options because that will give you some things to change between. And every time you have options, you have decisions to make. And when you choose the ones that you love the most because you really like it and it feels good for you, then you start to express yourself and makes it worthwhile listening to for everybody in this whole world. So, I hope that you will try to recreate this. Not my chords, but I will hope that you will try to do this with your own chords and I hope that you will enjoy it. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions to videos in the future, please let me know and I hope to see you again. Bye bye.